Hey, hi guys. I know we are all stuck in the euphoria of using the table of contents WordPress plugin, especially if on a WordPress site and a blog just like myself. Uh, many people say that it boosts SEO, but one thing I'm sure of is that it enhances user experience. Maybe in return, it can, which can boost SEO. It enhances user experience in the sense that, for example, if you're reading through um, a, lots, a blog post that contains lots of text, maybe a 4,000 word blog post or 5,000 word blog post, using a table of contents in your Post will actually make um, a user to easily navigate to a section of the blog post which he or she finds um, informative enough for him because reading through the 4,000 word um, contents will be a hectic time. So you can easily navigate to the portion. So that's one use or the importance, I believe, a table of contents plugin actually does. For example, um, but in the sense that we all know also that um, if you should clutter your WordPress site with lots of plugins, it tends to affect the site negatively the site server will slow down and the rest so like the title said i want you today to delete that word table of content wordpress plugin of yours and start using this today i will sh we shall move to the um, screen view of my laptop and i'll be showing you what i do i mean actually use table of content in my blog post but i've actually deleted the table of content wordpress plugin that i installed earlier on and i'll show you what i'm using when we move directly to my laptop screen just behind me. So stick tight and let's go and let me show you what I'm talking about. So let's move. So we're now on the desktop view of my laptop of which practically I'll be including a table of contents in one of my blog posts. I remember I told you that I've actually deleted the table of contents WordPress plugin I've been using later on. Then I'll show you how to do this. So now the first thing I would like to do is to actually confirm this. Let's move to my installed plugin section. I want to actually show you that I've deleted it and I'll be including a table of contents in one of my blog posts. So as you can see, let's scroll down to all the various plugins I have installed. Um, as you can see, um, if you're familiar with all this plugin, you agree with me that none of them are table of contents WordPress plugins. So you've seen that. So now let's go to my blog post. Um, let's go to my all post section. I want to practically include a table of contents in a particular blog post for you to see how I do it. So this post actually, um, as you can see, this is a post right here. Uh, this is a post right here I did a um, few months ago. And um, this post now, it doesn't have a table of content in it, but I'll be including it and you'll see how I do it. So first of all, uh, let me just highlight the title of the post and go to my dashboard and search for this particular post. Because that's what I want to practically include the table of content in it. Um, we have to watch. Okay, this is one. Yes. So now all I have to do is to let's go and edit it. And before deciding to actually include the table of content in your post, also you should know that yes, most of the posts you'll have headings or sections. This is the that's the um, back end of the blog post. As you can see, it has various headings which i believe should also come up as an easy navigation for people who wants to just go to that session remember i told you that you can actually include table of content blog uh, table of contents in posts that are long and um, this post is not really long but i want to use it as an example in this video so now without wasting much of the time let's say i want to include it um let's say in the second paragraph so i hit enter now all you have to do um as you can see this cross section you click add now, um, just go to this search and search for table of content. Uh, as you can see, it has popped up already. So let me choose this. Let me choose this. Yes, as you can see, automatically it has been created. But remember, before you proceed, you can not actually achieve this um, just by using the search button on this, just like I did. Um, you must do something which I'll be telling you earlier. Um, as you watch the video, I'll reveal to you what's actually brought about this. And that's what you know and learn. So now this is table of content. You can easily edit it. You can easily remove any of the link. I mean, any of the subheading that you don't want to use. You can edit it to your taste. So now let's click on this. And you can see the edit section as shown in the right corner. So um, basically, the table of contents is in H2. I normally advise people to put it on paragraph so it has reduced as you can see it has reduced but let's bold it you can bold it you can do whatsoever you like on on that section so this it has been displayed you can easily change the background you can make it to any color that you wish you can 
edit the background as you can see background i can choose let's say i want to use it blue or blue so if i choose blue that means the text color i have to change it so now let's use something light blue uh, light blue like this is okay as you can see it's okay and you can also centralize it um put it to your left or whatever section so i think this is okay for me so now all i have to do now is to click on update Let's update the post and we'll go back to the post itself and refresh and see how it looks like. So I've updated it. So now let's go back to the post and just hit the refresh icon or F5. As you can see, just like we did automatically, the table of contents are has been included but i don't really like the blue background so let's go back and edit it i like it being plain white so let's go back to the background um background um just um leave it the way it is white i prefer white background so let it um, blend with the color of my page itself so i've updated it so now let's go and give it a one time refresh so as you can see, it's now okay. It's now it don't have a white background. So like I told you, you can achieve this just by going to the uh, including a, a block and search and table of content for it to appear. No, you actually got to do something which I shall be telling you now in the next moment. So you've so you just watched me actually include a table of contents in a particular blog post of mine, and I told you earlier on that I've deleted the table of content WordPress plugin that I've been using. So how did I achieve that? I actually achieved that using the Rank Math SEO plugin. Yes, the Rank Math SEO plugin, they've actually incorporated or introduced table of content in the plugin. So even if you're using the free version, the paid version, you can still use the table of content that has been incorporated into the plugin. So that's what I actually use in achieving that. So if you want to join the bandwagon of Rank Math SEO users, I'm in the description of this video, I'll be actually placing two links. One, the first link to the free version, and the second link actually link to the paid version. So the paid version uh, actually come with enhanced features um, according um, included to the free version. So you can actually choose any one you want to start making use of. Yes, and if you've done that, I indulge you from now on, go ahead and delete that format table of content plugin of yours because you don't need it and you actually want to make your server of your wordpress site actually faster now so do that right now and go to the comment section also if you have any question can ask me and i'll attend to them speedily also go to the description of this video and use either the free link or the paid link depending on your choice so with that we've come to the end of this video chip zagua remains my name a blogging footer is the name of this channel so if you've still yet um want to see videos similar to this kindly hit the subscription button Turn on the bell notification so that I get notified whenever I release. And an important video is just like this. And also, um, give it a thumbs up because it actually make the YouTube algorithm to push this video for people like you that want to see or learn one or two things to actually do that. So we've come to the end of this video. And speak for my next video. Go to the comment section, ask a question, and I will attend to them as So we'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye for now.